Step Broski here, bringing you another unboxing video. Uh, for the sake of consistency, uh, I'm going to be doing the Noodle Slobber Hasune Miku figure, the Japanese version. So I have a bunch of um, other figures that came in recently. I have a couple more coming in tomorrow as well. So I, I have a couple, um, I have a bunch of videos I need to make for you guys. So starting off, um, you know, my last video. I got the, uh, my first video was the Hatsune Miku, um, the same figure, but the Chinese version. So it's like pretty much just the same, aside from like, uh, the color variations. I have her over here, like, I can just show her off. Actually, uh, let me see the box. Be a little easier to just see it on the box, you see. Put them like side by side. The box is actually fairly bigger. Um, I'm not sure why that is. There's some variations, like here you got the actual Furyu logo. I think this is actually like the same side of the box, if, if I was to like turn the box. Or they're about the same. It's just certain things moved around, I guess. But uh, let me um, go ahead and uh, like actually take off this plastic so you can see the box a little better. It's kind of in the way, you see? Um, oh, this one actually only has the, uh, the 2D picture on each side. Pretty the other one that has the actual like picture of the figure just close up. I'll actually show off the figure a little bit too. There she is. So yeah, same thing, just different colors. And I'm, I'm, I'm gonna pretty much put them right next to each other. But yeah, last time, um, you know, I said that it was hard to like find this figure. And, I mean, it's not really hard to find it, but mostly, uh, for, like, the price, because this one's about 55, I think it was, compared to the other one, it was, like, 37, and so, yeah, you know, it's, like, that's 20 bucks more, and you could honestly get a whole another figure for that price, so you could have got, like, this, or you, or you could get, like, the Chinese version with the, um, and, like, another figure for around 20 bucks or cheaper. Um... But, uh, for some reason, um, my old job sent me, like, a paycheck recently, and, like, I hadn't worked there for, like, a month, so it was, like, really weird that I just got this paycheck, so I was like, okay, I, I can spread it on, on some figures now. I gotta figure out how to, this would be open. It doesn't have, like, a flap or anything, I don't think. Yeah, I think I just have to, like, dig into it a little bit. Let me go ahead and, like, cut it open a little bit. I'm gonna be a little careful because I don't want to like crumple up the box. But maybe if I, I'm supposed to open it from like down here actually. There we go. I should put that on the floor right now. We get a better uh, view of the box now that it doesn't have all that reflective stuff on it. Oh, it's upside down. <laughs> There's the 2D um, picture of it and the figure. It looks like it should come with a stand. I don't think the other one had that, like, this base on the box. Let me see. Oh, no, it kind of does. It's got, like, she's got, like, a little base there. Again, big box. I think the figure should just be the same size. And uh, I was watching a video um, earlier today where I was like reviewing um, like some upcoming Ami Ami uh, figures, and one of the figures was actually another one of these noodle stoppers, like exactly just another one of these, but another color variation. It's like a bunch of pink and purple, which I think is pretty cool. And if uh, you know possible, I'll try to get my hands on that one too. That way, I'll just have like. All the variations of it might as well at this point you know i didn't really plan on getting this one uh, just because you know like i said before i didn't feel like the price was was all that worth it so, all around just like oh actually in this one her ponytail like pigtails are attached i like guess a little minor assembly is required for this one maybe that's why it came in a bigger box too 
Well, I don't think so, because, like, there's a plenty of extra space in there. That's interesting. Well, I, di I did actually keep the box. Um, just because, I mean, I usually do keep boxes for, like, purchases that I make, because if I ever move or something, I could just, you know, put them back in their original case. And it makes transporting a lot easier. So I always do recommend, like, saving boxes for, for everything that you buy that comes, like, with a box. Um, like, I, I have my PS4 box. I have, um, I don't know, like, boxes for, like, Nintendo DSs and stuff still. Just because, like, when I move, I just put them back in, you know, with all the, um, with all its accessories. And when I open it up, it's almost like another, like a brand new unboxing experience. <laughs> so it's got like tape on it, I think. Oh no, it's actually seal crimped, just like the other one was. So here, we got like the figure without the ponytails. Yeah, she almost doesn't weigh anything, dude. Like really all of the weight is in the ponytails. So you like appreciate the figure right there. Got a blue on the bottom. I think the other one was yellow. There you go. Yeah, she really doesn't want anything, so definitely all the weight was like in the uh, is in the ponytails. And then we got another staff all the way back here. The staff is very it's like really tough to bring out to get out from this little pocket. This is going pretty good though. I got it. So here's the staff. See if it'll focus on it. There it goes. It's the exact same staff as the other one as well. And there are these. I'll get another one. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so each little ponytail is like its own pocket. I guess they have these cuts in them, so you can like tell where it's supposed to go. It's a good thing I have the other one, so even if I don't get this exactly right. It does look right though. Let me see. Okay, yeah. I did, I did get it right. Just making sure they're secure. And there you go. There she is with the ponytails. Not really much to say, you know, it's the exact same as the last one. Maybe you can see the blush a little bit better on this one. Now that I actually got, like, a decent camera for it. But there she is. She's got the white romper instead of the orange. And the black and the red. Very beautiful color. I like how the, the, the color actually changes a little bit there. It's more unique than the other one. These colors are really nice. Let's go ahead and try to give her the staff. I think the other one I just ended up like putting them in between her fingers. You just gotta be like careful about it. You definitely don't wanna like overstretch it or anything. Oh, this one actually just slid right in. Wow. That was really good. So yeah, you can actually get to see it now this time, guys. She just holds it right there, like kinda next to her. And that's where she's supposed to be on top of the the noodles. So I'm gonna go ahead and put her like right up here next to my other one. I'll let you guys take a peek. So here they are, just on top of my Xbox. Uh, you can see better the differences between the Chinese version and the Japanese version of the Mikus. Like some of the ribbons are different colors. Parts of the shoes, socks obviously. I think that's supposed to be like see-through. It's supposed to be like a cutout maybe, but it actually is just like drawn on. 
You just go ahead and decide which one you guys like better. Here you can see like the, the glob up paint I was talking about in the last video. Yeah, eventually I'll have another one. Whenever that one releases. But anyways, thanks for watching guys. Here's how she looks in the PC case with the RGB. I know some people like to put their figurines in PC cases.